guys, this is Dormouse 03. Welcome back to my 100% walkthrough for Prey. This is episode 8, and we are going to be going to deep storage in this one. We are starting off at the end of the crew quarters. Like I said, at the end of my last one, I went through here and collected a bunch of stuff. I just want to give you guys an idea of where I'm at. Our stats, as they were at the end of the last one, but just in case you're just joining us, stats are... Types of food and drink consumed 28, give or take, depending on randomness for you. The rest of these should be exact. Uh, so Transtar crew and visitors is at 175, 103 emails read, 45 transcribed messages listened to, and five Starbender books read. You're also going to have five black market drops at this point, and three out of five of the messages that Morgan left to him or herself. So that's where we are. And this is not necessary and sort of an experiment that I'm doing right now, but <laughs> uh, what I'm wanting to happen is to keep as many of these people who are still alive, alive by the end. And oftentimes when you come back through here, more enemies have spawned and some of the people who are unconscious who you have stunned and knocked out or who have been knocked out because they were mind controlled are dead because enemies have just killed them. And so something that I did was I took all of those people and drug them into <laughs> rooms that I could lock. And so what I did was I drug the, I left the people who were in the fitness center in there and then I just locked the door Again, I drug a few of the people who were out in the open over here. I drug them into this um, mail room and locked the door. And then I took the people who were in the cafeteria into the kitchen and locked the door. And I drug Will Mitchell, a.k.a. Luca, out into the open right here because I want him to die. So <laughs> I'm wanting him to die and get killed by random enemies, and I'm wanting everybody else to live. David Branch I left in the rec center um, just because I didn't want to have to worry about moving stuff out of the way to try to try to move him. But everybody else I locked in a room, and so we're going to see what happens. It's Like I said, you do not have to do this. It does not matter if these people get killed because you didn't kill them yourself. However, you you want to try to keep them alive just to keep that empathy rating as high as possible. I'm not sure if enough of them die, if that will count as a negative against you. So, I don't know. I, I didn't do this in my practice run. Several of them were dead when I came back into this area, and I still got the achievement. So, I wouldn't worry about this, but I just wanted to let you know what I was doing, and we'll see how this little experiment works out when we when we get through so we're going to head back to the arboretum and i will see you guys after the load screen okay so here we are back in the arboretum And there are probably going to be a few corrupted operators. Yeah. Ah. Little jerk. There's three of you. Okay. So we get those guys killed. For whatever reason, I thought there were only two, but there are three. In fact, we can 
What, what are you doing? You're reloading, that's what you're doing. Okay, so we're gonna use some of these suit repair kits here. Because we can. And again, we're gonna ignore those guys. And we have a nightmare. So, I mean, you can try and kill this guy, but it's really not necessary. So I'm just gonna come and hide down here and kill these mimics. That follow me. Yeah, I see you. Okay, so I think that might have been the only mimics. I just, I just don't want to bother with this thing. It's not worth it. The only stuff that you get from it is a bunch of the Typhon organ stuff. And so it's really not worth wasting your ammo. So we're just going to wait it out down here. And I will cut to when it is gone. Okay, so the nightmare is now gone and we can carry on. And so we have a couple of voltaic phantoms, which we want to research. So those guys are taken care of. And something that you can do, because you should have a bunch of materials at this point, is go and, um, really? All right. Don't know how this got unassigned. That's okay. Thingy. You're pissing me off. So something that you can do is come down here and make some bullets. Because at this point you, you want to be pretty good on ammunition. And so you should want a, about a full slot for each weapon. And so, full slot for pistol bullets is 90, and a full slot for shotgun shells is 48. And those two things you want to try to keep topped up from here on out, because you're going to be 
having a lot of things to kill. Good afternoon, so. fellows. In the event of a loss of atmosphere, gravity, or other serious emergency, please report to the nearest muster station. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and equip my shotgun. Going to come in here and get... Requesting new operator. I think there was the one that we that we already used is down near crew quarters, but we can request another one, so no worries. And we're going to go to the lobby and fix this elevator because we're going to want to be able to use it later, and there is also a couple of collectibles that we can grab. So be prepared, though. We are going to need to fight a telepath. I will see you after the loading. Okay, so first things first, you want to get rid of the operators before the technopath sees you, if at all possible. And then I'm going to run and try to stay as close to this guy as I possibly can. And just try to keep peppering it with shots to keep it from getting off too many of those electrostatic bursts. And that's that. Okay, so the Technopaths, they are weak to electric, so your stun gun actually works pretty well on them. The problem with that is that it fires kind of slow, and if they get off one of those electrostatic bursts, it messes with your ability to use this. And so you won't be able to fire. And so I prefer using the shotgun because you can fire pretty quickly and it stops it from using so many of those abilities. But the, the biggest thing that you really want to try to do is get these operators dead before this guy sees you and starts messing with those electrostatic burst attacks because they can really kill you <laughs> very quickly. So that is Technopath done. And then we're going to find Hendrik de Vry, who is crew member 176. And he has his office key card on him, and he also has transcribe number 46. Alex! Damn it! Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay. So we're now going to take the elevator back down to the lobby. And we're going to use his key card to get into his office. In here, you're going to now have a bunch of <laughs> new enemies who are very irritating. And rather than mess with them, I'd suggest just running past. 
if you can. So we can now unlock his office. And in his office, we have a decryption key. which I think what that does is allows you to listen to the audio log. Alex, damn it. Hold on, I'm encrypting the rest of this. Okay, Dr. Cole already wiped the recording of Morgan's breakdown off his computer. The last copy is hidden in his office. I'm not going back, you'll have to get it yourself. A, C, B, A, C, good luck. Okay, and so that tells you the answers that you were supposed to put in to the computer to listen to get the Morgan transcribe thing, but fortunately we've already done that because we already knew that that was the code. So you'll see that that didn't count as a second transcribe, so we still only have 46. Because it was, it was the same one, it was just decrypted. All right, so you have two new emails on his computer, which will be emails 104 and 105, Morgan's Psyche Vals, and subject for quarantine. He's got a lot of cookies in his briefcases too. If you ever need cookies, there's a stash of them right there. All right, Trevor J. Young is still alive, which is good. That is what we want. Hey, little medical operator. Did you, did you heal these last seven hit points for me, please? Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing of portable medical care. Thank you. Please hold still. This will only take a moment. There, all better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire. We can also get into this room because we picked up the secured pharmaceuticals key card off of someone in crew quarters, I believe. And we can now find our 177th crew member, Beth Ino. And there's also some things in here, including a Neuromod and some Psy Hypos, that anti rad. Thing that we've already found numerous times in different places. Okay. And so final thing in here is I'm going to stop off by my office and deposit some things into my safe. Now we can head back down. Oh, and have fun with all of these little cysts. Yeah, you can't get me through this glass, can you? <laughs> okay. There's going to be a phantom that appears in here the first time that you use it to go somewhere else. Forgot about him. So just be prepared for the hat. <laughs> And now we're going to head back to deep storage. Finally. <laughs> Good afternoon. 
Talos. Join us in congratulating Dr. Lorenzo Calvino. So I'll see you after the loading screen. I heard the medical operator. <laughs> I swear I heard him. There he is. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing affordable medical can be handled. This won't take long. There, all better. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. Okay. So you're going to need to glue up this thing right there. put on our shotgun but we are not gonna stop for any of these things we're gonna head directly to deep storage gonna see if anything follows us down that lift it looks like it didn't okay so, prepare for another achievement right now. Open says she should unlock as soon as we open this door. Voice identification required. Please repeat the following words. Harmonica. Doctrine. Proclivity. Mom. Harmonica. Doctrine. Proclivity. Mom. Sorry, Morgan, but I have to lock you in this time. When I trashed your arming key, it was to keep you from making a huge mistake. It's too late to stick our heads in the sand. We're committed now. You should be safe in deep storage. When everything is ready, we'll meet in my office. I hope you believe me. I really am on your side. You're just not yourself. Okay, so there is Open Says She, achievement or trophy right there. And lots of talking. Welcome to deep storage. If Talos 1 had a subconscious, this would be it. You're looking for the central repository. That's where you stash the drive that has the plan for your arming key. I'll see if I can find a way out of here in the meantime. So I didn't really plan for that phantom to see me and for all of those explosives to go off just then, but it happened, so okay, that's dead. Next thing is going to be Jennifer Lee, crew member 178, right here. I really don't particularly want to pick up that baseball glove, but okay. I can't help myself. And then we're going to look on Zachary West's computer. He will have one email that's new. It's number 106. And it's going to be re freaky B. Okay. He also has a note on his computer that's got the key code to get into the stairwell. And he has Ivy Song's password right there as well. So a couple of useful things from good old Zachary. Every dark bit of data that moves through the station is captured here. Redundant backup servers are stored in modules that eject in the event of a catastrophic failure. The fact that they haven't yet is telling of Alex's refusal to face reality. There's the technopath that we're looking for.
So this technopath is a bit of a pain in the ass. But if you can get him lured in here. And you should be able to kill him just like you did before. There are a few mimics in this area, so be a little bit cautious. There's also this little grate that you can go through to try to sneak up on some things, but from the other room, but it's not super necessary. I don't know why I'm getting caught up on nothing. Okay. So there should be a couple of minute mimic minics <laughs> mimics in this room. So you might be able to spot them. Or you might not. So Lynn Clover, Clover, Cloyer, I can't speak right now. Lynn Cloyer <laughs> is going to be crew member 179 right there and then mary page is crew member 180 hello little science operator let's scan you right quick You know what? It's possible the mimics got blown up in some of these explosions as well. That would be fortunate. Because if memory serves, there are a couple in here. Anyway, I'm going to replenish our health with all these drinks over here. Grab some stuff and things. And move forward. So we now have the key code to this stairwell. And to your right, when you enter here, is Heather Bent's crew member 181. There's also an engineering operator in here that can repair your suit. None of those notes are anything super important. So when we get in here, we're going to be able to log on to Ivy Song's computer because we have the password and read email number 107 Freaky B. I believe she also has the schematic for the Huntress Boltcaster. Yep. So once again, there's that. And so this area right here, there's going to be a weaver in here and that weaver may turn some of those bodies into phantoms so there are a few bodies in this area in here you just want to be careful and the weaver looks like it's not it must be floating around in the back but rest assured it it might turn some of the people in there into phantoms 
So just beware of that. So we're going to go through to Danielle's office here. And there's going to be Mimics plus a Thermal Phantom in here. <laughs> so the mimic walked through the fire and died. Brilliant. Just going to make this office a little bit safer to walk around in. So we're going to have a couple of things that we want to do. So... Cycler charges. So, no, no mods. If you're going to do this treasure hunt thing, you can get her map from there. You don't really have to, but whatever. You have two new emails on her computer. So it's called no subject and re rogue operator. And those are emails 108 and 109. You're going to have security key card. And let's see. You also have the recycler and stuff in here that you can use. Don't have the thing for that. Okay. Should be everything. We don't need another bolt caster. So we'll do that and we'll make some more handgun bullets. Because again, you, you just want to try to keep a pretty full stack. Those. Okay. So we're now, there's a couple of ways that you can, <laughs> that you can do this. You can use your glue gun to make yourself some platforms to get up and around and into this room. The easier way is going to be using one of these recycler charges. Next order of business is to glue that up so that it does not hurt you. And then we're going to want to kill 
kill this weaver as quickly as possible. Because he'll keep spitting out those little cystoids, and it's very, very, very irritating. And we'll just make things a little bit easier to traverse in here. And we have a few bodies. So, we have a Conde Binin. Who's over here, and I don't know why I use that since there's that operator down there, but whatever. So, Conde Binin is crew member 182 and we also have Andrew Gray who is going to be crew member 183 So again, you want to glue that up to be able to get out of here. Gonna go and use the recycler and recycle some things. Okay, and so now that we have the security key we can go into this security booth right here. And in here, we have several things. Fabrication plans that we don't particularly need and all kinds of stuff. So, we want to grant access to the repository, and then we're going to go down in here. And so now, <laughs> this can be an annoying little adventure down here, because there's lots of these cysts you can blow this one up with this canister which is nice Just try to get as many of these guys exploded as possible. So we have another weaver down here who's just going to keep spitting out
cystoids. Okay, so we got him killed. Okay. So that should be a lot of the enemies dead. You will have several holes to patch. You know, maybe it'll get patched. Okay. But if you can get the majority of those things dead before you come down to grab this hard drive, you will be in good shape. Because what you don't want to do is fly down there and have them following you and exploding everywhere and then all of the pipes are bursting and you're getting killed by fire and all sorts of bad things. So we're going to come over here. That should automatically get inserted. And then we're going to mount a drive. So we're going to get back out here, and head to Danielle's office. I believe there was another mimic. Yeah. Okay. Engineering operator, why did you fly so high up there? Please climb on the glue. Oh, dang it. Oh, now you're moving. Here, how about this? No? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. The things I do to not have to use resources. Okay. So moving forward, we're going to head to the download station. And we are going to There you are. Okay, transfer this file.
know you spoofed my voice to get in there. And now you're stuck. Some family. I'm gonna help you. But you have to do something for me. Someone posing as the cook. Killed Abby. Abigail Foy. Ran sanitation. You wouldn't know her, but she was... He's still here. He can't have gotten out. You want to do one good thing. Just one. Find him. Kill him. Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open a data vault module. It's a redundant backup system that's meant to be jettisoned from the station. That's your way out. Once you're in, look for a manual release. Morgan. If you get back inside, please fix this station. Not for science, not for the future. Do it for the crew. Please. Okay. So you'll have one more email on Danielle's computer. Morgan read me, and that's gonna be email number one hundred and ten. Which is excellent. And then we open Data Vault B, because Data Vault A has already been jettisoned. So we're going to come through here. Um, once again, we're going to glue that up so that we don't get hurt. And we're going to go through Data Vault B. Once you get in here, you'll have to open this maintenance access panel and push this button. And you'll have a little cutscene. So now we want to get out of this pod. Morgan? Morgan, this is Chief Elazar. The Aerops on Talos are sealed, but there's a, an opening at the cargo bay you could use. I think you can get back inside the station here. Okay, so we're going to be headed to the cargo bay now. And we're going to have the opportunity to do our next achievement or trophy called Adrift on the way there, where we're going to save Dr. Igwe. And this is also part of a couple of other achievements. So you definitely want to make sure that you do this. So you'll see this little pod out there. That's going to be his pod, and he's going to call you right now. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. I'm broadcasting wow. all contacts in proximity. Please, whoever is out there, listen to me. Oxygen is low, and I have no spacesuit. An accident in Cargo Bay forced me to seal myself inside this container. But I have no way to dock with the station from in here. Okay. So Dr. Igwe needs your help. There are going to be lots of cystoids. I did not realize those things were following me just then. But there's going to be quite a few. Cystoids in here. So we can use some of these 
cargo containers to try to get rid of a few of them. Morgan, I've been wondering that I could see. You, that you planned your own death. Okay. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you. One step at a time. I'm here if you need help. Whoa. Really? Oh my god. Okay. These things are so annoying. Okay, so up here amongst the debris, you can find Tanya Vale, uh, who's going to be crew, num crew member number 185. And then we're going to head toward the docking controls. Try to get those little cystoids to blow up. Little jerks. Okay. I see you, Morgan. We've locked down the cargo bay. We're safe for the moment. It will be a trick to get inside. There's not an airlock anymore. That explosion took care of that. Maybe you can do something with the shipping containers. So there's some stuff in some of these containers. When you come over here, you're going to find Jessica Wiley. She's going to be crew member number 185. And next to the computer that we're going to be using, you will have Grant Lockwood's transcribe. And that's going to be number 47. Uh, Jessica, got a minute. It's my day off. Yeah, but can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Uh, yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. And I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. Okay, so the number for Dr. Igwe's container is 2312, and you want to select Dock Shipping Container. And you'll notice that you have a little timer there. I've just been meandering around because I knew I had time, but you might want to do this quickly so that he doesn't die. <laughs> Oh, he's like spring. 
You are my thanks, Dr. You, But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though, I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. Okay. Looking for a piece of debris. Really? You guys decided that you weren't going to follow that crate? Sometimes. Yeah, go away. Go follow that and explode, please. No? Now that we can finally get in here, we'll have Riley Butler, crew member 186. And so that is everything that you can do out here for the moment. Pick up debris if you are so inclined. And we're going to head through Dr. Igwe's shipping container. So he gave you the code for his shipping container. Again, that's random, so you won't have that unless he's actually given it to you. And we're going to be able to head on 
into the cargo bay from here. So that is the end of this one, guys. Let's do a quick stat wrap up here. So we have still 28 food and drink items. We will get the last ones that we need in the next section. So you, if you've been following along, I would say 99.9% .9 assured that your achievement is going to pop in the next area because you'll have an opportunity to have a guaranteed find for a lot of the other food items and one that we have not found yet. So that should be that achievement done in the next section. All of these other ones should be exact stats. So we have 186 crew members found. We have 110 emails read, 47 transcribed messages listened to, and five Starbender books read. We still have five uh, black market dead drops that we have located, and three of Morgan's messages to themselves. So that's where we're at. Hope that this was helpful to you guys, and I will see you in the cargo bay.